Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. Windows 7 has created libraries that allow us to organize the content on our computer. By default, there are four libraries for our music, photos, documents, and videos, and we can store our files inside of these libraries. Today we're going to look at locating our files inside of the libraries, as well as managing the libraries. To access our libraries, we'll first need to open Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is the program we use to manage our files and folders. I'll first click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Within the Start menu, I'll click on Computer. To access the libraries, I'll click on Libraries in the Navigation pane. Windows 7 created four libraries by default. You may want to save appropriate files in the correct library, but feel free to save a file in whichever library you'd like to. To view the contents of a library, double click on it to open it. You will see that I have a folder called Sample Music within the Music Library. Libraries are similar to folders in that they let you see one or more files. The difference is that libraries don't actually store your items. Rather, they monitor folders that contain your items. For instance, if you have music files in folders on your hard disk and on an external hard drive, you can access all of your music files at once using the music library. You can use the navigation pane on the left hand side of Windows Explorer to find other files and folders that you may have in libraries, as well as additional locations, such as the desktop. To expand a library or folder, click on the arrow next to it. Then click on whichever folder you'd like to view. If you've deleted one of the default libraries by accident, right click on Libraries in the Navigation pane, and then click Restore Default Libraries. Just like keeping our desk organized at home, it's easier to find our stuff if we keep the files on our computer organized as well. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I encourage you to visit our website, InstructorGadget.com, to find more tutorials as well as additional resources. Thank you.